So we have shocking new details uh, about the tragic death of Rich Homie Quan. As some time has passed, and now TMZ has even released the 911 call that Rich Homie's girlfriend made when she found that he was unresponsive. According to the story that we have, she got up that morning, I guess, to take the kids to school, saw him on the couch, put a blanket over him, thinking that he was cold, went, did her errands, came back, saw that he still hadn't gotten up, and that to her wasn't normal and then she you know i guess went to check on him and didn't realize that you know he wasn't breathing and wasn't moving and had and also was foaming at the mouth we're gonna play some of the 911 call it is heartbreaking it is tragic it is hard to listen to so that is a trigger warning but this is the 911 call that his girlfriend made Number 911 operator 7214 what is the location of your emergency all right you need police fire on the I need an ambulance. Tell me exactly what happened. Um, my boyfriend, he's been asleep on the couch um, since this morning. Well, he never came to bed last night. Sleep on the couch. I left him on the couch before, before I took my son to school this morning and put a blanket over him. And now I just checked on him again because he never got up. I don't feel a heartbeat. I don't see him breathing. And you said, hold on, you said on the couch and what happened? I said I put a cover over him because he gets a little cool and he's in the living room. And now I just checked on him because I see he never got up. And I don't see him breathing. I don't feel a heartbeat or anything. And I turned him over. I see he kind of foamed at the mouth. I'm sorry. Are you saying he's not breathing? Is that correct? I'm not hearing you. Yes. Yes. Okay, ma'am. Um, if there's yes. a defibrillator available, send someone to get it now and tell me when you have it. So the entire thing is tragic. It's terrible. Um, I believe Rich Homie Quan was in the middle of making a huge comeback. Uh, he had been getting active, especially in Atlanta with all the influencers and the young guys coming up on YouTube. And, and I just saw him um, being open to working with all these, you know, young guys and sharing his you know, his greatness and his, um, his celebrity, his name, his influence with them. Him, and it just seemed like he was in the middle of finding like a new creative groove and like a resurgence almost like in kind of like the same way T-Pain did um not to say that they ever fell off but just that it seemed like we were going to see a new rich homie Quan and then he was entering back into the spotlight uh slowly but surely and it seemed like he was even if not mistaken getting ready to you know release some music so um it is very sad that this happened and especially with the rumor being that uh i'm not sure if this has been confirmed but the rumor being that it may have been um an od now according to uh thugger daily who broke the news uh originally at 1 35 p.m on september 5th 2024 uh he was they thugger daily said that it was a possible od uh there's been some confirmation on that but i'm not exactly sure um i hope that isn't the case and if it is the case then hip-hop has a lot to talk about and um there's a conversation to be had there for sure for sure but uh as we get more details on the situation updates um we will let you guys know this is rest in peace to rich homie Quan, and um and prayers go out to his friends and family